Hello everyone, welcome back to Collab with Cassie and Amu. So today Amrita is not here as she is not well. So she will join us soon as she becomes well. Today in place of Amrita, today Neha is going to be talking with us. And today's topic is going to be body shaming. So we are going to cover the topic in little detail. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter as you all requested. So let's start. So uh, Neha, what do you think body shaming is? Yes, body shaming is actually told as cr uh, criticizing someone by their body appearance or looks and their behavior, how they depend. So, yeah, thank you, Neha, for telling that. So many people in our society tell that you're dark-skinned, you're very tall, you're too short, you're too thin, you're, you're very short, or like all types of criticism. Like when they see you, you're like you're dark-skinned, you have to be light. You won't, then they'll be like, okay, you're not too tall. You're not too short. You're not, you're very fat. Or you're like, like somebody like who's very tall and they'll face problems. Like, see, you're so tall. Like all that problems and regularly when people criticize them, it, it becomes a little harsh because people then start, them themselves start criticizing because of people who started criticizing them. They'll feel hurt. They'll become depressed and worried. So we shouldn't actually do that. And I'll ask a question and let's see what Neha replies to this. So Neha, if someone body shames you, what would be your response? Yes, uh, if someone body shames me, I, I just ignore the response. If we don't ignore, we get stress, unwanted things, we get like depression or instead of getting those and all, we can ignore the comment and those comments are not useful for us to like react on them. So better we be silent and ignore them. Thank you, Neha. So this is one of the tip. Don't, don't, you don't need to bother about answering them. You can ignore them and go. Then after that, I had an, I have another point actually to tell you that you should have self-love. You should all love yourself the way you are. You should accept yourself how you look. No matter how you look, you're fat, you're thin, you're tall. When people who love, love you will like you the way you are. The people who don't like you are the ones who will criticize you. Always, you see, you have, you have seen your, your parents, your friends, who are who people like you have never told you anything. Only people outside that circle will complain. So you don't need to think. When people, there are many people who like you than people who don't like you. There are there always will be people who don't like you. You don't need to always th think why I don't. They don't like me, so I have to become good in their sight also. That is not important. If they don't like us, that's their problem, not our problem. So like we should always have self-love, should talk, you should, whenever we are talking to ourselves, you should not tell that, see, I'm like this, I'm stupid, I'm mad, don't tell like that. You tell that I look nice, I'm beautiful, I'm very good the way I am. So you should always be proud of yourself the way you look. So I'll tell you some things that you can apply self-love. So you should stop comparing yourself with others. Don't compare yourselves like, see, they are so like this, I should be like this, don't be like that. Stop comparing yourselves. Don't worry about others' opinion. Your opinion matters first. Then if you make any mistake, that is okay. That is not your problem. Maybe like this month you ate a little bit more than you should. Like usually if you have, then then you that's, that's not a problem. That's one day mistake. We can't do anything. Every time we can't be perfect. So if you do some mistake also, you should forgive yourself and accept that. Don't be afraid of people. Don't think that, see, that person will tell like this. This person will tell like that. You should not worry about that because if you think that, then your life will become like a slave to them. You will always be thinking like, well, they, if they tell me this is not nice on you, then I'll be like, I'll be self-conscious. You don't need to be that. You need to be free and enjoy the way you are. Neha, do you agree with all this I said? Yes, I do agree. These are the points that we should all follow and we should not like think about ourselves that we are looking like this or not. We are the perfect and we should like ourselves, like as God has created us in a different way. We should not tell like, as if we wanted to be a person like others. We should be ourselves. That's it. And love ourselves. Yeah. Acknowledge yourself and be the way you are. So I was reading a quote a little bit ago. I don't remember the quote correctly, but I'll tell you what I understood in the quote, it was written, I'm too fat, I'm too thin, I'm too weak. I'm not, I know that that is all okay. But when somebody else outside you tells that it is not okay, that is not okay. Actually, when a person outside you comes and tells that you are like this, you are like this, 
that is our problem when if i look fat i have if i'm self conscious that is my problem because i know how i want to look but like if somebody outside that circle comes and tells you that it will make you more like feeling low you won't have that self esteem so never let your self esteem go never let your self love go always respect yourself first others all come later so thank you everybody for listening to this short video i hope you like today's topic and please give us comment comments everything down below thank you bye bye thank you